Hi everyone, this is Hamza Shigur from Emirage.org. I want to share with you a simple trick from my Harvester Blender project on how to make textures look different on duplicated objects. As you may know, using instances for duplicating objects is a good way to optimize your projects, but the issue is that the resulted objects looks exactly the same. A workaround to this is to add randomness to the texture coordinates. In this short video, I'll show you how to create a custom node group that makes the texture coordinates changes randomly. This is an intermediate level tutorial, so I'll suppose that you already know how to set a basic material with an image texture in cycles. If you have the node Wrangler add-on enabled, please select the image texture node then press Ctrl T to create a basic texture coordinate node setup, otherwise add them manually. To simplify the mapping process, we'll use automatically generated texture coordinates instead of UVs. For this, you'll need to change the projection option from flat to box mapping, then linked to the object texture coordinate. The mapping node is used to adjust the position, the rotation and the scale of the projected image. The trick now is to generate random transform values for each object dynamically. We will achieve this by using the random option from the object info node. But first, we need to expose the projection transform values so we can connect the info node to them. To do this, simply use the XYZ separate node, then combine them back using the combine node as the following. Till now, nothing has changed except that we expose the values of the translation. Now, add the object info node. The object info node has a random output that generates random values. With the help of the math node, intercept one of the uh, axis translation values and connect to it the random socket of the info node. As you can see, the coordinates has translated randomly. You can do the same for the other axis. Now that the setup works fine, let's make it into a group so we can reuse it for other materials. Select the all those nodes and hit Ctrl G and give it a name. To add the group, simply hit Shift A and select it from the group category. This is the end of the video. I hope you learned something useful. Don't forget to subscribe for upcoming tutorials. Also, you can support my works by making a purchase from my Gamer page. Link in the video description. Thank you.